everyone. Today we are going to be colouring a few of the um, baking items from 30 Days of Creativity. I've had a quick look at Johanna's video. I haven't had time to properly watch it, but I've seen what she's coloured and I thought I would just do some things that are different to the ones that she's done. I thought it might be more useful for you and also um, I might want to colour what she's coloured um, her way once I properly get time to watch through her video. So I thought I would start with these and measuring spoons. Now, there are different measuring spoons can either be plastic, so then you could do them a nice bright colour, or they could be made of metal and usually would be silver. I've decided I'm going to do them in silver. So I am grabbing a grey. I'm using my Castle Art 72 set today. So I'm going to use the cool grey, which is the lightest grey colour that I have in the set. I'm just going to show you how I would colour this um, to make it look silver. So in between, I'm going to do this sort of ring part first. I'm just going to do a bit of colour in between each one. I'm not going to do anything fancy there because we've only got a very small space. But up here, I'm going to start to fade the colour as we go up. So I want to put some more. I'm just going to sharpen a little bit more. It's quite fine work here. I'm just going to empty my sharpener. I've got my bin next to my desk for a change. So I've actually had to move it because I've got a new trolley with all my art things on. So uh, there we go. If your sharpener gets too full, then you risk breaking your pencil when you sharpen it. So I'm going to lighten it up to the top to make it look a little shinier. I actually want a little more light than that. I'm just going to use my Tombow eraser to just erase a little more. Okay, now we're going to think about each of these spoons. Now in the dip in the middle, it's going to be darker in there and lighter on this edge because the edge is nearer to the light. What I'm actually going to do is do a bit of light in the middle of the handle or maybe not colour the outside of this spoon at all. So just do that inside of it and getting lighter as we go around like that. I'll just do a little bit here and there. We'll see how that looks when we're done. Sorry, my doorbell went then. So uh, I lost my train of thought. But anyway, I think I was going to say that I used to bake quite a lot. Um, when my children were in primary school, which for those that don't know is between age 4 and 11, um, I used to be on the sort of fundraising committee, which was great fun. It's a really good way to make friends. Um, what I'm going to do is make it darker here on each spoon against that line. Anyway, um, we used to have a lot of cake sales. They used to do really well. Um, it was a nice way to bring everyone in school together because a lot of people would go um, after school and grab a little cake. And uh, it also raised a fair bit of money. So I used to um, bake for those, which was good. There we go. I'm going to leave those like that. Now we have this mixing bowl to do. Let's just put that pencil aside. Mm. Now these are brown usually and I haven't got that colour brown so I'm going to have to have a bit of a, a mix about of colours. I'm going to start with the Davies Grey. So I used to bake um, cookies, they're really easy. I'm just going to put a base layer of this down first and then we're going to add some brown in. Um, cookies, yeah, easy and, and sort of little cakes and I used to often do a bit of um, just sugar icing and then stick sweets on top. Um, kids used to like that, you know, anything really, and uh, it was good fun. But uh, since the children have left school, I don't do so much. Now I'm having a look to try and figure out what colour might work. I'm thinking the yellow ochre light might work. So I'm going to put a layer all over and see how it looks. I think we might be getting somewhere with this. It isn't quite the right tone, but it's going to have to do. Of course, you could do your mixing bowl any colour you want. So inside the bowl, it's going to be darker down here where there's shadow. So I'm just going to go in there with a bit more of my colour, like that. 
and also around the rim a bit darker here and here just have a bowl like this at home when I was little I assume it got broken then we started using things like stainless steel I guess because it doesn't get broken these are always set in to the bowl so I'm putting a bit of colour around the edge to make it look like shadow to give the impression it's set in. I'm going to leave it like that, really simple. I think it's, it doesn't really need much more. You could, they come in, these come in pink, pastel pinks and blues, I think. So that would be an idea for you if you wanted to do something a little different. Now we're going to do this jar here. I'm thinking that's jam. Hmm. I've done a jam jar for you quite lately, so maybe we won't. Maybe we'll do this um, saucepan. Now saucepans are normally... Um, silver um i'm just thinking should it silver yeah let's do silver so we will use our um cool gray again like we did for the um for the spoons and i'm gonna follow I just realized how wonky we are oh no i blurred there we go i'm gonna use johanna's um pattern to help us so what she's done is she's marked some lines on the side so that indicates to me it should be darker and so that's what I'm going to do so I'm putting a few layers up here and then less as I move towards the center of the pan I'm going to do the same here now I find that this gold this gray is a little bit dark if you have a set of pencils with a lighter gray I would go a little bit lighter really but uh, we haven't got a lighter one so we just have to press really lightly and hope it works. Some greys are too light though. It's quite, you have to get the balance just right. I think we'll leave it there. Now for the inside, it's going to be a bit darker down here, just like when we did the bowl. It's going to be darker here and lighter towards the top and the handle similarly. I'm just going to put a, a layer on it and then a bit more at the bottom and where it meets the pad. That's it, as simple as that. Now the sugar is a tricky one. If you want white sugar, it's white. There you go, white sugar. But let's make it brown sugar so it's a little bit more interesting. Um, I'm trying to see what tones I've got for brown. I think I'm going to start with the brown we use for the mixing bowl, which is the yellow ochre light. I'm going to use that first. It's not the right colour but it will give us a yellowy base because some of the browns in in the castle art set that I've got are a little bit red. So uh, I'm going to use a really dark one on top in a very light hand. So that's that. And then I'm going to grab this dark one is the burnt umber. Now this is really blunt and I'm hoping I might be able to stay in the lines and just use this blunt one really lightly. If you um if you make it sharp, you can it makes the colour a lot darker. So it's not really what I want. I just want to slightly darken it. Quite difficult to get the exact colour, but it just makes it look less like yellow. Now, if you want, um, Johanna's drawn some dots on for us. You could um put more dots on there if you've got the colour a colour that you like like to use I'm gonna leave that okay I'm gonna move across and do the honey just gotta move my um, remote control which is on the side of my book Ugh, I can't fit it all in this shot unless I make it wonky uh, that's a bit annoying how did I fit that in shot just now and I thought no, hang on how's that that'll do so honey um, the colour that I like, what did I use? Because I did the honey inside the cover. So uh, I think I used the um, cadmium yellow. We'll try it and see how it looks. It might be a little bit too yellowy. But honey colour differs a lot. Some honeys are quite orangey and some are quite brown. I don't know if you've noticed. I don't don't eat honey at all. I've never really had it very much. When I was young, um, my mum didn't like it. So she told me it was nasty, so I just didn't have it and we didn't buy it. So uh, 
when I got older I did try it but as I'm not a sugar eater I don't eat the honey either it's too sweet but um, I have tried it and I did find it a very obviously extremely sweet I find it it's okay if you've got a sore throat very good for that but otherwise not for me okay I'm going to use my burnt umber again I just need to sharpen it my sharpener feels like it needs a new blade but anyway that's a different issue altogether so here's the burnt umber I'm going to use uh, I wonder if it has this got a name a honey something I don't know I'm sure it would Okay, so we've put a layer there. I want it to be slightly darker at the bottom, like that, but also between each layer, I'm just gonna put an extra dab of brown, and hopefully it gives it a slightly more three-dimensional look. And I'm gonna put a little bit extra at the bottom of that circle, the end of that handle there. There we go. And then we need to think about this glass. Um, I'm just going to use the, oops, I picked up the wrong one, the cool grey again. We keep using this a lot. I mean, it, it, we just happen to have a lot of things that, that need this colour. And take a bit on each edge. It's quite dark, actually. Pull it towards the middle a bit less here, if I can. Like that. And I'm going to use some for the wings of the bee. I don't mind if he's a little bit more um, defined. Now I want some yellow on that bee and I want it to really stand out. So I'm looking at my yellows. I think this one, oops, excuse my arm coming in front of shop. Maybe it didn't. Um, the Cadmium Yellow Deep. I'm just going to sharpen. Sorry, my book's fallen over. It. Sorry. I'm propping it up on the edge of the tripod it's not ideal so I'm going to do the pit between the wings at the top in this yellow and the bit at the bottom of the bee it doesn't show up loads and then I want to do a black head and a black stripe again it's some um, quite fine detailing I'm not really zoomed in enough for you to probably see there we go I can't remember if Johanna did this jar. I think she might have done, I don't know. We've got these um, sweets at the top. I can't get them in the shop. There we go. I'm going to have them slightly wonky. What do you think? Is that a bag of sweets? I'm thinking maybe it's a bag of sunflower seeds. Hmm. That's how I'm going to colour them. So I'm going to use this black that I've got in my hand to do some of the stripes. Remember, sunflower seeds are black and white striped we don't usually eat them like this i used to feed them to my budgie <laughs> i do like sunflower seeds i can't eat them sadly they don't really agree with me but um um they um they are nice my um son eats them but you don't eat them like that with the husks on maybe they're um everton mints anyone in the uk may know what i mean but uh, people outside of the uk won't know what i mean at all they're, um, they're like a, um, a boiled sweet, so a hard candy, which is black and white striped. And as you suck it, it softens and goes chewy, and it's got a toffee-like flavour in the middle after you've finished having the mint outside. It's quite strange, very delicious. Right, we've got the bag. Now, we could do a brown bag, but I think we've got a lot of brown going on here already, so we're not going to do that. We're going to do a different colour just to make it more fun. And I'm thinking, what colour would mint be? Maybe it'd be a mint green. I think I'm going to see if I've got a mint green. Um, I think I have, but I'm just having to look at and see. I know I have in some sets. Maybe it isn't in this set. I think it's in my Arteza. And well, I'll just grab what I think might be one. I think the castle green light might do us. So let's use the castle green light and uh, do the bag. So we're just going to do the whole of the bag to start with. I 
find it strange because if you buy a packet of mints, they're often blue, um, not green, because we sort of think of cool colours with mint because it's a sort of cold feeling in your mouth. But of course a mint plant is green, but it's not really the sort of shade of green, is it? Well, obviously there are lots of different varieties of mint. So I guess that's not very neat. I'm just going to give us a sharp, give it a sharpen. There are lots of varieties of mint, as I said. So uh, maybe so much darker. I'm going to do a little bit darker at the bottom and top of here. And sort of fade it towards the middle. Under this turnover part of the bag, there's going to be some shadow. So I'm going to do it a bit harder there. And I'm also going to do the bag a little harder here, but not as dark and lighter towards the top where it would be catching the light. I'm just going to go over this to make sure it's fairly even now because I know I missed a few bits out on the first layer because I was in a rush. Well, it was a bit blunt, wasn't it? So we'll go around here. Now, at the bottom we need to think about we've got, um, we'll have some shadow under here like that. And this bit sticking out so you'd almost if you're going to do shadow you'd almost do some shadow under there because it would be shade provide shadow on the table there we go now we've got a label and a piece around i'm going to do some darker green for that as that was castle green light i'm going to use castle green deep because they'll be in the same sort of family of colors let's give this one a sharp there's definitely something weird going on with my sharp but anyway this is um, Castle Green Deep. It's, it's providing a sharp pencil, but it just sounds a bit weird. But anyway, I shall check it out in a bit. So we're just going to use this for a nice solid colour here. And the same here. Um, I think we'll do that milk carton it looks like fun um, I'm thinking it looks like cow like a Frisian cow I don't know if you get Frisian cows across the whole of the world I just need to sharpen my black I'm just going to check out what's going on with my sharpener let's open it up it's got a few bits of sharpening stuck around it maybe it's that um, a Frisian cow is the black and white cow that we tend to use for dairy cows here in the UK so that's how I am going to colour it. So make these bits black and the main carton white. Gosh, it's a long time since I've seen a milk carton shaped like this. And I want it quite black, so I'm going to put a few layers on. These days we use, this is, um, these are like a, a sort of Tetra pack, I suppose. Whereas nowadays we use a um, plastic bottle. Though I don't, I can't drink dairy. So, uh. Now, because this bit's sloping, because it comes to a point at the top there, and this bit is facing us, I'm thinking about light and shade. I'm thinking this, I'm going to do a little bit darker than that one. Just a little bit, not too much. Um, yeah, I drink um, soy milk or oat milk. Because I'm lactose intolerant. I think it's because I was vegan for so long. I went back to having dairy and I could tolerate it for a while and then I stopped being able to. I don't know whether it was because I was vegan for so long I lost the ability to digest it properly. But anyway, I uh, when I was vegan there was only soy milk available and now there are all sorts of milks. I can't drink nut, I can't, um, I'm intolerant to nuts as well so I can't have any of those milks but um, the oat milk I like in tea it's nice okay we've done the basics now because i want to add some color to this picture because we at the moment there's not much color there will be when i do this i think is it jam is this jam are they both jam is it syrup i'm not sure but i will i will start adding some bright colors into some of these items and because we haven't got much color i'm going to make this little stripe colored i'm going to do it blue I'm just going to find a blue. Um, that one looks nice to me. Oh, that's not blue. That's violet. Okay. 
let's go for the Delft blue. It's a nice colour. Again, it needs sharpening. And then I'll do this stripe down here. Blue, I think it just works well with the black and white. Okay, now the top would be the same colour. But I'm going to use a little bit of grey to just um, do a little bit of shadow. Now, with the Tetra Packs, they sort of fold in here. So you would get shadow into this bit. I'm just going to pop a bit there. And I think this top would be the brightest. This might be slightly um, darker. So I'm just going to put a tiny... A layer on this side and then maybe the tiniest bit up here so we're not completely white but we've got a tiny bit of shading it's very hard to see but there we go um, I do fancy doing that jar so I'm gonna do that with you quickly oops not the paper around should we do a mm, should we do a sort of black currenty plummy type color jam I'm thinking I'm going to go with this aubergine colour and see how it looks. Because I end up doing lots of strawberry colour and the other one I'll probably do strawberry colour. So I want to do something a little bit different. I think that actually could be Looks like a raspberry black currant to me. So I'm going to make it a little more solid by going back over it again. I'm still not really sure what it is supposed to be. Maybe it's like sugar. <laughs> well, now I'm thinking that maybe part of the label would be the same colour as the jam. I'm going to do that, and now I'm going to grab a lighter one. We have um, what's called purple, but to me it looks quite pinky. And I'm going to do this part of the label in this. I'm going to try and keep it light. It's quite difficult. It's a very vibrant colour. There, and I'm thinking maybe we'll do the lid. This colour too. We could do a silver lid because often they're metallic, but. If we do it coloured, then it gives a bit more colour on the page. So I'm doing it darker here at each edge, lighter towards the centre with a gap, so it looks shiny, and the same on the top. There we go. Now the rest of the jar I need to look a bit glassy, so I'm going to grab my cool grey again. And just add a few hints of grey, quite light. And just bring it towards the middle gently. And the same on this side. And hopefully that will give us a slightly glassy look. Now what we can do with a glass jar is to use a bit of white pen. I'm just going to grab my Posca, give it a shake. To, uh, to make it look a bit more glassy by putting a line down. If we do it on top of the jam, it will show up. She says line. This is running out, it's getting a bit watery. There we go, I have to scribble with it to get it going. So if I just put a line down there. And now I'm gonna do the same on this one. But that probably won't show up very much. And then I shall zoom out and we can have a look at um, what's been done today. So we've done whoops, and quite a few little bits and pieces. Oh, we still need to come out to the top one. See, oh, it's wonky. Oh. There we go. So there are all the items I've done. Um, I think Johanna done quite a few of the ones in the middle. So and there's some for you to have a go at yourself. So uh, I hope that was fun. I really enjoyed doing that. and. Uh, so thank you very much for watching and happy covering.